my leg out as well, so I yeah. also look like I'm really chilled. Yeah, please chilled. Do. Just lay down. Yeah, <laughs> just fully so you just lay down and just spoon each other the <laughs> yeah. whole time. We'll just have a nap, just 20 minutes yeah. of us under that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gina. I'm here with actor Aaron Paul, and these are his Netflix Nine. Netflix Nine. How did you keep this a secret? This must I... have been the biggest secret on earth. <laughs> like, seriously, because like everyone loves Big Bad. And then you're like walking around with this secret, you're like, yeah, yeah. Like you're, you're pregnant with this new film. Like, yeah, do you know what I mean? yeah. I was very pregnant. Um, <laughs> overly pregnant. Overly do. It was great. It was. It was. Um, I don't know how we kept it a secret. Mm -hmm. For me, it was honestly. It was really easy to keep my mouth shut. I love lying to people. Uh, okay. In a good way. In <laughs> yeah. a good way. I love. Uh, I love secrets. I love surprises. And. Um, why spoil the surprise? Mm. So given that the story of the Breaking Bad universe is still being told in Better Call Saul, mm. right? uh, and we're still seeing, we're seeing the flash forwards, do you think that we've definitely seen the last of Jesse? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. I, I mean, I'm such a huge fan of Better Call Saul, and even before the conversation of El Camino existed between Vince and I, I kept thinking, there's no way that Jesse can show up here. Mm -hmm. Like, how is that possible? Definitely not in the flash forwards. I mean, mm -hmm. why would he show up there? Maybe he shows up and he's at, when he's in, in middle school, yeah. you know? But that's also very odd, and mm -hmm. I don't look like I'm in middle school, but... <laughs> well... <laughs> like, yeah, you know. A few years shy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, you know, what they can do with technology these yeah. days... Uh, yeah, so I was like, there, there's not a chance that... I'm gonna be playing Pinkman again. Mm. I thought that, but then El Camino happened, and here we are. And here we are. Yeah. Led us together. That's great. Look at that. <laughs> Look at life. <laughs> Look at life. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. <laughs> Look at us all. Someone asked you in a Reddit AMA, ask me mm. anything, three years ago, okay. where you thought Jesse might be now. Right. And you said Alaska. Yes. Did you know at the time that that's where Jesse that that was. Jesse's ending, or mm. did Vince sort of go on Reddit and was like, I love that, sounds fucking great. Like, did you, <laughs> which one was it? You know, I pretty much wrote El Camino, <laughs> yeah. so. It was all your work. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all the signs were there during that AMA Reddit, so um, I always sort of just envisioned him getting as far away from Albuquerque, New Mexico as possible. Mm -hmm. You know, getting away from just that torture and trying to find some sort of uh, tranquility somewhere. Um, and I thought Alaska would be just such a perfect setting for him. Mm. So lovely. Alas Alaska. Alaska. Alaska, <laughs> yeah. So you once said in an interview with GQ in 2012, we're going all the way back, yeah. that you didn't tend to go back and watch old scenes or certain scenes over and over again, and that you hadn't actually watched the first episode since it was aired. Right. Um, has that changed? I'm interested to know. Has that changed since you said that? Have you? Did you ever get nostalgic when you didn't think you'd be playing Jesse again and go back and watch? some scenes or episodes? Um, no, I, I I haven't really gone back and watched any episodes. Uh, my wife and I, uh, we were planning on uh, re-watching the, uh, the series before El Camino came out and then just, you know, life got in the way. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of Breaking Bad. <laughs> uh, but you I say just, that. Yeah. <laughs> After about the oh, fifth or really? sixth episode, it kind of went downhill, oh, and I'm like, board, this mate. is a little, I don't know, it's a little much. So, big question. Yes, what? what? It's actually not that big. <laughs> I'm just gonna ask, what's your favorite scene? From Huge Alchemy? question. No. Um, there are a lot of great scenes. What's your favorite uh, one? My favorite scene, uh, it's gotta be the scene with, uh, with Walt and Jesse at the diner. Mm. I just think it's such a, such a powerful scene, and and how that scene ends was just so kind of heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. You know, Walt telling Jesse that he thought he was lucky that he didn't have to wait his whole life to do something special. Mm -hmm. That was a fantastic answer. Really good, really good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so everyone knows that one of the things that Jesse Pinkman says a lot is the word bitch. Where's my money, bitch, huh, bitch? Where's my money, bitch? Oh, that's good. Where's my money? Where's my money, bitch? Bitch, where's my money? Really? Yeah, just, just like on YouTube at yeah, the moment, yeah. there's like a three minute video, six million views wow. of just like Jesse saying, bitch, 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 right. bitch, bitch. Is there a word or phrase that you say as much as Jesse Pinkman says the word bitch? No. Really? I don't think so. No, that's fair. I have probably been called bitch 
more than anyone else on the planet. I get called bitch every day, multiple times a day. But who, do people just call you bitch? Yeah. Just shout it in the street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, hey They're like, bitch. oh, it's me. And I go, oh. <laughs> Uh, actually, I was I was here in uh, I was here in London, and I uh, this was year this was years ago. This was during uh, the airing of Breaking Bad, and and someone screamed out, "Gatorade me, bitch!" because I was drinking a Gatorade, <laughs> and I turn around and I throw them my Gatorade, and they catch it and they freak out, and then they you know go like this and they run off just so happy, and I instantly regretted giving my Gatorade away. Yeah, yo. Gatorade me, bitch. So the last voice that we hear sort of near the end of El Camino is James. Mm. Uh, do you think that that shows how significant she was compared to everyone else in Jesse's life? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And um, Jane was the love of Jesse's life. Yeah. Uh, and then heroin got uh, in the way. So their relationship started off great. She was a great influence on him. Then it quickly became a chemical romance. But I love how it ended. Uh, with um, a conversation between uh, the two of them on the side of the road and her just simply saying, look, you have to uh, take control of your own destiny and, mm. and go with it. And, mm. Yeah. And so he does. And so he does. Um, so you're also the voice of Todd from Bojack Horseman. Yeah, Todd which is Chavez, also, yeah. also one of my favorite shows. If you could voice any other animated character from TV or film, which would oh, it be? Man. I don't know, Tickle Me Elmo? Oh. <laughs> That's actually a really good answer. <laughs> okay. I, I, yeah. No, I mean, that was a joke, but now that I said it out loud, maybe. It's actually not a bad idea. You know, Tickle Me Elmo? A sweary uh, Elmo? That'd be great. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be great! No, I would do it, you know, I would try to do it properly, like, like okay. tickle, tickle Me Elmo. Yeah. What about if you were to do any other character in Bojack Horseman? Mmm. Um, uh, I think Mr. Peanut Butter. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. You know, he's so, he's so sweet. Mm. Okay, so the last one. This is yes. a quick fire segment. I've okay. decided to call Hot Takes. The name doesn't really bear much resemblance to the actual game, but I'm gonna okay. ask you to choose between two things and tell me why you've chosen them. Okay? Got it. Just a couple. Easy. Cats or dogs, keep it simple from now. Dogs. Why dogs, why? I mean, it's pretty obvious. Oh, dog people, let me just say something about dog people. Dog people, Hate on, they don't let cat people live. They hate on cats. Oh, I'm not, I'm not against cat people. I house-sitted for a friend mm -hmm. once. Uh, they had a dog mm -hmm. and a cat, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. My friend said, hey, make sure to leave the door open at night. Yeah. So it can go out and kill things. The first morning I wake up, I pour food for the dog, pour okay. food for the cat. Yeah. I go into the dining room and there's blood everywhere. There's little pieces of flesh furry flesh everywhere. And I'm like, what the hell is this? And then I find a baby bunny head. Yeah. So this cat okay. tortured, not just <laughs> sunk the teeth in and killed it and ate it. It swapped it, you know, swatted around and, and killed it. And it did it twice while I was there house sitting. And so, Hence dog person. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. That's abs that was a very good <laughs> justification. Ooh, maybe I'm gonna be a dog person now. Since you know your alcohol, spirits or cocktails? I mean, both, can I say both? Not the aim of the game, but yeah, okay. you can. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> of course you can. Last one. Mm. The name Aaron or the name Paul? <sighs> wow, that is a Got to choose. tough one. <laughs> uh, I guess Aaron. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, because it's my first name. Aaron Paul. It's been lovely chatting with you. High five. These are your Netflix nine. Thank you. That was really good. That's really good. Oh. Can we take our nap now? Oh, I'd love to have a nap.